Today's video, we're going to be teaching you how to beat the blitz from the New Orleans Saints offensive playbook. Um, the formation we're going to be utilizing, utilizing to beat the blitz this year uh, from this book is the Shotgun Empty, uh, empty Saint. And the play we're going to be breaking down is the play Drive Unders. Uh, we don't talk about this in the audible setup, but I'm actually going to use the Drive Unders because we've already broken down the gun the deep end, so I want to show you a different play. So drive unders uh, is what we're going to use. Nickel, and we'll show you just basic pressures. This is pressure that does work, I'm pretty sure. So anyway, um, what we want to do with this play drive unders. Uh, the first thing we want to do is we just want to motion Beasley into the inside. Um, and the next thing we want to do is we want to take Williams and we'll place him on a drag pattern. Now against the man blitz, first and foremost, is what I want to show. Um, against man pressure, uh, your first read is always going to be Williams. What you're going to see here is against man, you're going to be able to hit that drag right over the middle of the field. Quick drag uh, right over the middle. Easy. Easy hit. Um, now, what guys will do to stop that is they will pinch, or excuse me, they will man align, and they will press coverage. Now, if that's the case, what you're going to be able to do now is you're going to be able to hit this route to Devin Street as it cuts to the outside. As you see there, um, against cover zero pressure, um, it's very difficult to stop. And as you can see, uh, it does a nice job uh, at beating that. Um, and then lastly, the only other read we're going to even have time to hit is this route to Cole Beasley. Just a nice little trail route when we bring it in. Uh, it does a good job at beating the pressure. So those are really the, the, the quick hitting routes that we're going to be able to have. Um, now zone pressure. Zone pressure, very simply, they don't have flat zones. And so what you're going to identify is the safeties. And if the safety stays up top, you're going to be able to hit this flat. So the first thing you're going to look zone-wise is that the blitzing from the left, we're going to throw to the left side and hit Jam Darren McFadden uh, in the flats. And you see it's going to easy, easy pick up uh, for him. Um, our next read here is Williams, of course. Look left, nothing. Williams coming across. Easy hit against zone, as you can see. Next read uh, on this play is our uh, quarter route, a little T route. Uh, this does a pretty good job against zone, as you can aggressive catch those and cut those off against the safeties. Uh, deep three deep safeties tend to not do very well when defending um, defending that corner strike route. Uh, and then our fourth read, left, left, and then Cole Beasley. Not quite as good at beating zone, to be honest. Um, it's just really not. What it's going to do is, though, it's a two-man read. It's a two-man read between Cole Beasley and Jason Witten. And what you're going to see here is Jason Witten. And we got some pretty good pressure there from Hardy coming up the B-gap. Didn't have enough time. We could have hit the other reads. But what I want to just do is show you all the progressions. But anyway, what you're going to see here is Jason Witten is going to be able to be open if Colby and we snap Colby easily at the wrong time. Sorry. We'll show you this uh, when we get going. Let me bring Cole Beasley in, wait for him to set up, and then we're going to stand in the pocket and hit Jason Witten. Uh, Rolando McClain's playing out of his mind right now, but um, the whole premise is that if they suck down, you're going to hit Jason Witten. If they stay up, you're going to hit Cole Beasley. Um, and here, um, I mean, we're just not going to be able to complete it. Um, what are, er, and one thing we can do to, to complete it, just to show you, um, we can hold L1. What it's going to do is it's going to trigger a high pass lead. Um, so high pass lead and Brandon Whedon you're so bad. Uh, we need to substitute Tony Roman. we got to get our depth chart right. But um, anyway the whole idea again is that you're going to be able to hit these other routes anyway. Um, but when they come down you're going to be able to hit this route to Witten for so just because of the pressure and all that stuff. You're not going to have enough time to hit him. He's more of a coverage if the coverage is, is, is really killing you. But the cool part is this drag of money, as you can see. So that's how we like to beat the Blitz from the New Orleans Saints offensive playbooks, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to look more into detail of how to beat man-to-man, -man, or excuse me, not man-to-man, -man, but how to beat um, you know basic coverages, um, how to be defenses and just how to be really good this season uh, when it can uh, as far as it concerns the defensive side of the ball what I would recommend you do is uh, head over to uh, or look in the description and you can get our defensive or excuse me our offensive guide it's going to show you how to beat uh, a lot of different types of defenses really good offensive scheme for